Welcome to a review of the new Mortal Kombat 2001, where we will discuss which one is better, the one in the 90s or the one in the... What the fuck? Do you have a trash can? Yeah, why? Just fake. Watch this one. Some things are better when it's shitty in 90s and CGI. The first Mortal Kombat was made in the 90s. And it was directed by W.S. Anderson. Paul W.S. Anderson. Who also fucked up the Resident Evil movies. Paul W.S. also directed many other failures. Such as... Event Horizon was pretty good, but that that was a that was a fucking fluke. He basically banged uh, Mila Yorkovich on that, uh, you know, when he married her. Luke Besson directed Fifth Element and banged also Mila Yorkovich when she was only nineteen, so they both got that pussy. Mortal Kombat, at least one in Annihilation. You like the characters, something. To like. The Mortal Kombat series has been going on for a long time, and why was it so successful? Because of the fatalities, the gore, the brutality, and the characters. It's all about the characters. Mostly everyone loves Scorpion. I love Scorpion, you love Scorpion, whatever. The new one tried to bring in the fatalities. And... Joel Schumacher is a gay director, as you'll see and you'll notice a lot of close-ups of very handsome men in his movies. He should have been the one to direct the new Mortal Kombat as well, because it was gay. Wesley Snipes is Jax. Patrick Swayze is Johnny Cage. And John Leguizamo is Lou Gang. What's this have to do with Mortal Kombat? Because they might as well fucking did something else because the fucking white director fucked us up. Now let's take a look at the faces of the creators, writers, and directors of Mortal Kombat. As you'll notice, the creators of the new Mortal Kombat will act like they made a Resident Evil 2, but instead they only made a lazy fucking Resident Evil 3. Movies are just movies, but when they're done right, they could be considered genius. And there are some filmmakers that just think they're a genius and think they made something genius, which is you're making a mistake. Not as serious as yours. Yes, Annihilation, yes, we all don't really like in the CGI, but they gave us the characters. They gave us the characters we liked, instead of giving us, well, you get my point. Just for another example, like Last of Us, we love Joel, we love Ellie, and in the second one, instead of giving us much Joel and Ellie, we got... You want to play as some guys in there, but they're, 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 they're making up our own characters now. Some made up characters are quite magical. This one was anything but magical. And I mean more combat. Then thusly, some men need to be hit back and stop making movies exactly. Let's make another movie, make a badass gore and fatalities, and we'll have Scorpion. No! You're playing or watching this guy. Who's he? Doesn't matter. Warning. The next scene will be moronic, arrogant white people. No, Fred Savage is cool. Some acting actors like Danny Trejo are just classic. You like them no matter what. Other ones are like Carlos in Resident Evil 3 where you just don't give a fuck and don't care. Now on the cover of Mortal Kombat, you'll see that it's 
Scorpion and Sub-Zero, but that's not the main story. The main story in this one is... Mortal Kombat has a very extended now number amount of characters. Ones that are each unique. Such as... Sonya Blade. What's a Mortal Kombat movie without Sonya Blade and those breasts? Bad or good, we always love him. Kano. In this one, we got, I'm just happy to be in a fucking movie, Cole Young. Who the fuck is Cole Young? Was he work at a fucking Best Buy? Oh, was he like in Red, like fucking, like a uh, Redemption or something? In this film, we lead our new audience in with cops. <laughs> This film, we lead our new audience in. A new audience, you fucking moron. I mean, a retarded audience, you old prick. Play. Oh, who is a new character? Rewind one. Play. Play. Cole Young is the audience's perspective in. Pause. Play. Rewind one. Play. Cole Young is the audience's perspective into this crazy Mortal Kombat. Oh, it's kind of cute. Like, he sucked a dick or one or two. I bet he's just happy to be in the movie. But here's your star right here. Sorry. We have Kim Hung Lao in this one. Scorpion. Scorpion. So his character journey is about. So here's the Caucasian fucking idiot that decided. That fucking string bean is gonna be. No, not Scorpion. Not Scorpion. Not a good guy. No, him. Oh. Oh. It's about by how they find their arcanas. What are the things that trigger them to get their powers? Do these dumb white fucking people, like, just to fucking rip off fucking man with iron fist and shit? What the fuck is this? Sonya Blade's titties aren't big enough already. All right, everybody likes some white pussy, but Jesus Christ. Play. To me, to me, that character was so important because he embodies everything that. Because you're huh? the fucking writer. That's why. That's why. To the murderers, the people that are murdering, it's very important to them too. Okay, you fucking moron. Jesus Christ, look at me. Look two fucking steps away from a fucking homeless shelter. Scorpion is so incredibly So incredibly amazing, but instead we get this fucking joke. No offense, he might be a lovely man. But what the fuck is this? But he just doesn't know it yet. Yes, he doesn't know it yet, and he'll never know it. And we never know it, because we don't give a fuck. And you'll notice how tough our main character is. Please. Sonya's already beating the shit out of him. What are you doing here? Wait. I'm, I'm looking for a better movie. movie. Don't you love when people talk about something they have no idea what the fuck they're talking about? Play. If you know Mortal Kombat, then you know... If Pause. you know Mortal Kombat... If you know Mortal Kombat, guys, do you know Mortal Kombat? ...recruited by Jax to be part of the Special Forces... Unit. Uh, you've been wow. to something, though. Ooh, sounds knowledgeable. As Boy, you know, if I look in the toilet real quick, I can tell you what color my shit is. As Mortal Kombat. I give the creators a lot of credit. Because I have no creativity for myself. She's a boss. She's a boss. She doesn't suffer fools. So rare. And it's boss. like another fucking Laura Croft. The new one. She's not you. Yeah, she's great. But she's not you. You're another blonde bitch that's serving tacos. And probably got an abortion a couple times. Really strong, badass female character. Oh, I think we've got in the wrong movie. We just needed to get a big, nice jizz line right fucking here. Go ahead, baby. Keep fucking talking. Play comes up. And great. Nice. All right. Whoa. Wow. Just brute strength. You know, I don't know if you like her or hate her. 
she can be antagonistic and she can... Please remember, stars, that without the audience, you'd be nothing, and you're not really fucking superheroes. You're just fucking ordinary fucking people. Just when you remind you, you fucking morons. Hey, we're doing a new movie. We really don't care about it. Um, I don't give a give a shit. But um, we just need some arrogant fucking stupid white people to think they're smart. Can you do it? Oh, hello, sunshine. No. Kano. Kano what? Kano, none of your fucking business. Kano, get huh. the fuck. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you, you fucking rice noodle? Kano's never a good guy in the film. But are huh. you a good guy in the game? Do you even know? You look like a fucking pedophile. You look like you're thinking about a ten year old boy's ass right fucking now, Simon McFarl. How the fuck did you get in this industry? You certainly no stranger. Yeah, they could have made this motherfucker huh. just a fucking main guy, and I would have been fucking. All right, all right, all right, all right. He has more leading fucking. But no. Honestly, most of these fucking people like the fucking made the mystery men seem fucking cooler than them. The, the studio that did this are that Lindsay Pig. Terrible fighter. Terrible movie makers. Oh, Sub Zero. We could put Sub Zero and be the main fucking thing. I mean, look how cool he looks. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I think we got an idea, fellas. Nope. Sabjo is not just a villain. He's a very intelligent... I thought the thing is intelligent. I played Ip Man stunt on the thing. Why the fuck did they get some fucking Shang Tsung fucking to be fucking Ozzy Osbourne's fucking Asian stunt double? Play. But we must strike. Huh. That's fucking Shiva. Chang Shun ordered Sapjiro and the Dog Warriors to eliminate potential fighters. When Sapjiro freezes Jax's arm, he sort of puts him to pause. Yeah, you like fucking talking, don't you, boy? Hopefully you smoke, so you have a fucking heart attack or you know cancer or something. But anyway, go ahead, white man. Please. So there's this sort of horrible quality where he makes people submit. And then he kills them. Wow! Boy, like, these fucking people seem like they fucking could have wrote the fucking remake of Commando. But it's a bunch of children. Oh, it's... You know what I like best? The price! The brain is the most powerful thing. It's all in the eyes, brother. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> You're not too bad looking, though. I mean, you know. And now introducing Dave Chappelle's stand-in. Play. Jax. The interesting thing about playing a video game character is that you really can just fucking p play with it and have fun and get a check. <laughs> All right, studio. Come on, you got pause. All right, guys, just just fuck her. And have a little titties flapping around, okay? Because we're just gonna do that instead. Really, honestly, like this movie's not going anywhere. I really respect that you're black and they kept you black, okay? But you didn't do a good job, I'm sorry. Play. Come on, you got this. Everybody's strength and pretty much bravery in fucking Mortal Kombat. Oh, this one is just a pussy. He comes in and just gets fucking raped every single time. He just, instead of, you know, flawless figure, didn't do nothing. Flawless rape. <laughs> Yeah, look at those white teeth. I bet after this went, we fucking did a Nike commercial. So that comes out in his arms. He becomes the strongest man in the world because that's how he feels inside. Rapists do the huh. same thing. They feel like the sexiest man and the strongest man. They get all the bitches and they rape them. It makes sense, man. Really. He just wanted the audience to enjoy seeing Jax doing what he does best. We huh. just wanted the audience to be fucking stupid and children. And people that like it probably also. We want to make badass characters. We want to make bad. We chose these characters because they're strong and mad, pissed off, pissed off, fuck your ass up. Why don't you just get this bitch to be in it? I would have believed it more. And you know, everybody would just like it, you know? A booby, a booby, uh. We have the Thunder God himself. Huh. You're a fucking writer. This fucking Twilight crossover probably talks like. 
We have the king of soda and croissants in the house. <laughs> Has been overseeing Earth's battle There's no that fucking was. story in this. Shut your white ass up. Jesus fucking Christ. Play. For multiple generations. No, you didn't mean it. An outward will gain control over Earth forever. Oh, that's not the game. Come yeah, baby. That's the game right there. I saw the yeah. Are very what the <laughs> fuck? Guy that fucking molested Jackie Chan. Play. Oh, and then. Here we go, what the whole fucking movie should have been about. Yeah. Yep, 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 we got you, we got yep, 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 but. This movie was like watching a disabled person and they're getting better at walking. They're getting better at making you no know, movies, but they're still fucking crippled as fuck and you can see it. And they fall every single fucking time. These are the people in Hollywood that think they're better than you. They think they deserve more than you. A bunch of fucking morons. Dang dong. Isn't he the fucking asshole in Dark Knight that's like fucking, I go with number. That's who he should always be. Just a fucking Asian guy in the back to go, I go with number. And that's it. Hang out of a fucking plane. No offense, but be a really sweet guy, but Jesus fucking Christ. We're making a new Punisher. We need him to be awesome. Looking cool. Believable. Strong. We got him, guys. Our leading man. P-Wave. And the Hollywood people think they're so fucking good. <laughs> they think they're so fucking good. <laughs> well, sometimes when they actually think and try, yeah, movies can be good. Other times, do they just get people that worked at a fucking subway and they say, Hey, you want to make a movie real quick from a classic? Here, you can fuck up this one. Fuck up this one. I'd rather watch from fucking from 3 from Hell again. It did not need to be made, but... <sighs> oh my god. Alright, genius Hollywood. We're gonna make the new Pet Cemetery, but instead, get this, guys. This time, we're gonna do... No. Ooh. Ooh, you're gonna be creative, huh? You think you're gonna be creative, huh? Alright. And this is Disney Studios. We're about ready to pick our new movie that we're gonna remake. So, we're gonna have our, our uh, friend George pick that one out of the pile. We'll see what we'll get. What'd you get, George? What'd you get? Oh, can I take this one? Yeah, fuck yeah. People love the forest. We don't even fucking need the fucking thing. Just make it. There are certain movies that are really good. Deserve credit. And there are other ones that just get fucking credit because of who they fucking are. <laughs> Once upon a time in fucking boring. Quentin Tarantino believes his worst movie is Death Proof. I'm not sweetheart, uh-uh, no, I got more legs than a bucket of chicken. And I, Miss Vita Bohem, don't need anybody. There are some people that are stupid that if you help them, you die. And there's other people that, Miss Bobita Jackson. This was your best movie, Quentin? Ooh, I don't know. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to make Mortal Kombat. All right, what we'll do, okay? What we'll do is we'll get the person, stunt person that did the choreography for uh, for the fucking redemption, the raid, whatever, and then we'll get um, oh, who's Frank Miller or something? To get a good writer, you know, good writer. And uh, how do you fuck up on Mortal Kombat? It was simple: violence, violence, badass fighting, badass fighting. But you gave us a handicapped fucking Jackie Chan. Okay, get this. What if Jackie? Okay, what if it's Jackie Chan? Uh, a movie that's fighting, right? Okay. No, I don't want no trouble. But he's in a fucking wheelchair and he's paralyzed, like fucking um Christopher Reeves. Oh, this is a great question. Great question. And when I first pitched on this, one of the early questions I got was, "How do I feel about the fatalities? How do you and feel about the fatalities?" I'll explain that one. Oh, well now we're in a generation where you know Resident Evil has to be calm. It's too scary. It's too violent. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. So, you know, it can't be too violent. A little violent, but you know, a little gay, but not too much penis. A little gay, but a little too much. What do you think about the fatalities? They think if he picked his fucking nose and he fucking bled, he'd fucking have a heart attack. Look at him, little bitch. I swear to God. Look at him. Look at him. 
He's looking at a fucking eight-year-old right now. Oh, boy. Uh, I hope nobody noticed. Uh, I get that look, too, when I see some bitch their asshole popping out of her shorts. Boy, you must be working in the industry for a long fucking time. I bet that fucking half-bald head is just full of creative ideas. Making a dread too would be a fucking awesome. Want everybody like a stupid white person to talk? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Go. Stupid. Go. Play. Ooh. It's not something we can shy away from, but if we're just Ooh, leading that is... with that, then we've got a problem. Yeah, I got another huh. fucking thing where you do like a gay point and you don't want to shy away, but you don't show the balls. You know, you show the cock, but you don't show the fucking balls. With that, there we go. We've got a problem. Make Shiva because black so and make sure to give her that fat fucking black ass. Okay. Had a vision from day one that he has a vision. I have a vision too. Every time I touch my dick and look at different things. All this fucking money and bullshit. Spent four fucking years training with these people. You can't do it, you fucking moron. You fucking can't. I'm all about positivity. But Jesus Christ, look. But they fucking banged. Look at him. Look at him. Fucking they banged. There's some guy probably jacking it. Kid, and it was like one of my favorite games. Let's fuck up. I bet I fuck him. Fucking, I've done it before. Take his Asian ass out with Scorpion. Let's play it then, bitch. Let's talk. Yo, I'm wearing fucking wires. That's not goddamn kung fu. Please. There's some homages to the game itself in there. Even fucking gay Obviously porn is realer than this shit. They're actually fucking each other in the ass. Once we went through the script, the Goddamn, first time having fucking Kung Lao in the movie, you take him fucking out. What the fuck? Please. What the fuck is that? You've got to hire these people that have that ability. Time zero. We've got a fantastic actor. Jack you can have that look if you just do certain drugs. It's that same look. Judo team. Joe's got that pure athleticism. Pure athleticism. God, I'd like to fucking smack him with something. Jesus fucking Christ, this is what you deal with at them fucking, you deal with some white fucking cocksucker or something. Oh. I make the mistake of watching the raid a couple nights before you. The raid, the raid was mentioned, but actually the raid was fucking awesome compared to this. And it was obviously a lot was more put into it. Not that fucking black cock of a fucking costume you fucking put on you. What are you doing? Fucking screwing up a fucking woman's pussy? I made the mistake of watching the raid a couple of nights before he fought. I go, I gotta fight this dude. I gotta fight. I gotta fight that dude. No, you don't have to really fight him. But when I've been in gay, gay porn, I really did have to fuck that son of a bitch. So yeah, so, no, you didn't have to fuck. But I did have to fucking. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Or I got fucked. I don't know. Either way, it was a lovely time. Joe was faster than everyone. Oh, yeah? Joe was too fast. Oh, too fast? If, if you huh. knew how many times I jacked off around people and these fucking things, you know, then I'd be the fastest one, too. Please. Joe was so fast, I had to ask him to slow it down for the camera. Wow. Pause. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they, Bruce Lee, same thing. Yeah, little Jay, I do. Woo! This is a fucking job. He's fucking thinking about his fucking day. He's probably thinking about his fucking stupid wife. He's fucking thinking, oh, I hope oh, I hope they don't realize I'm a fucking fraud. What's in their brain? What they've learned over the years, especially with someone like Marshall. <laughs> I love when they talk, when they act like they're talking. It's impossible. You know, just because you're a fucking retard and you know how to go, doesn't make you smart. Pretty much, I just wanted to say, I don't know a lot. And this is basically how much I know. Nothing. I bet this bitch Pause. never even fucking talked to his direct, his fucking actors that much. It seemed like he just fucking stands there. Fucking, oh, you gotta get married, do the typical thing, you got the watch. What a fucking typical white fucking shud. I don't know him. I really don't. But I'm pretty fucking shy. When I take a fucking piss, I like to I zip my pants very slowly, gently, whip my book fucking cock out. I like to leave it just to see because I like I'm smart too. I just fucking leave it halfway hanging, halfway hanging because I don't want the water to drip. See, there we go. There's your fucking movie right there. Boom. But no. No, let's get ping pong that we never heard of. 
Oh, by the way, my words are upsetting you, so you can watch a fucking game and a movie. It's all about killing people and fucking them up. But I say one thing, and everybody's getting upset, huh? You know what you are? A bunch of Barbra Streisands. We think we're dread. But we're really... Oh, it's Cusco. Cusco is poison. That poison. Watching those two on set was one of the great privileges I'll ever have in my life. <sighs> To work with actors like that, it's an absolute pleasure. You can base a lot of choreography around their abilities. I prefer just to start fucking, just, you know, join the fucking, the fucking goddamn Scientology group, fuck it. Hey, when some of you guys rent the fucking movie Cooties, whatever, watch the special features. I bet they're going to talk the same way. They always talk hot. Hey, when we decide to molest all those fucking children, have them show half their titties, their preteen titties, which is phenomenal. You know, just the angle between the things used and just the way she play with the little puss. It was just amazing. I studied all the moves from the game, and then I came Watch, she's going to get shot. Moves. Fucking going to see it one day. She's going to get fucking shot. <laughs> When I had to throw the CGI hat, it was very hard because it wasn't there. Jess McNamee did an amazing job. She did all this incredible stuff. She does a flip in the film, which is all her. Except on the fucking strings, you fucking moron. Hey. If she would have not had it, she would have broke her little white back. She wanted hey. to nail it, and she nailed it. Oh, well, she nailed it, but you nailed her too, didn't you? Bet you got some of that fucking on your pussy, didn't you? Oh, yeah, look at her. You don't think they do it, huh? Well, get me a go, trust me. Oh, yeah. I want to stick this much of my cock up your ass. Is that okay? Is that all right? Love you. Well, fucking people are talking so much because they're fucking talking to the camera. But if they're, you're on set with them, they don't want to talk to you. They're too good for you now. Hey. God damn, Liu Kang. Look, if I can't find a fucking decent Asian bitch, I'll just fucking call you up, you little fucking egg roll. God damn. Fucking pretty. Keep swinging that fucking mouth. Hey, you know, all these, these safety shit. I was on stunt shit. They fucking could have killed us. Fake, 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 fake. The blood off it. Blood, I think the blood off of it. Of my murder. Fucking you actors are so fucking it. retarded. No worries. They're so fucking retarded, usually. So, sorry, babe. You don't get Molina's killed today. <laughs> my favorite fight scene is uh, what they're calling the big brawl. The big brawl. Try to make it as action packed as possible. I mean, you know, they make fucking make porn. It was porn packed, but you know, there's no fucking bitches in it. Just a bunch of cocks. I'm like, what the fuck? Look at that sexy bitch, though. Look at him. Just dying to get molested. Welcome to my crib. Welcome. This is Cole's family cabin in the woods. And if you look over here to my right, this is the shed where you find the worst thing you could ever find. When Goro. The fucking shitty Goro. Agoro. Whoa! I think I put more work into pulling my fucking hair out when I have a breakdown than they fucking did in this goddamn movie. In case the fight, like these motherfuckers talk like, oh, when we flew in the scene, we are fucking, we looking at everyone, they fucking really flew and shit. My god. Ugh. This go. fight is really unique because it kind of has a Stanley Kubrick-esque element to it. A Stanley Kubrick? Fucking what fucking... He's done, a, he's done war and shit and sci-fi, but what fucking Stanley Kubrick film can you fucking... I'm so, sorry, man, but what do you mean it's a Stanley Kubrick fail? Kubrick-esque element to it. When you first see Goro, you see one hand come to the door. One hand. Second hand. And second hand. Third. And That it? That was it. We just need the first hand, the second hand, third hand. These people are fucking special needs. You know, he's probably looking at one of the fucking 
fucking drug dealers that they have there. Oh, man, I can't wait to be stop talking about this stupid fucking movie. Uh, one of the guys brought their little niece to the fucking set, so I'm just waiting to take that little bitch in the bag. But she wants to be in movies, so I'll just tell her I'm working with stunts. So, you know, I want to be in the movies still. I feel special. I get to fake CGI myself. Fake everything. All right, one of our actors has been molested, and the you know fucking uh, that's real. Do you know how to deal with that? No. But here we go. This is so important. Oh, so big. Millions of millions of dollars. Oh my god. You're moving around. You're fucking up the line. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Yeah, goodbye. There was more goddamn thought in the Indian in the fucking cupboard. Pooh Bear, children of the stars, the sun, and the moon. Carl, oh. his first hand came out, and his second came out. One comes after the other. Retarded people make retarded movies. Hi, I'm the director of Mortal Kombat, okay? And we decided, uh, Well, it seemed like they all had a lovely time. It was hashtag me too. Right, free and oh yeah, it was nice, you know. But I think I've had a bigger payload jacking off for twelve years. <laughs> Memo, I told you I stopped making shitty movies. I lied. Oh, you know, what would I want to do with the movie with the more combat? Yeah, you know, oh, I thought, yeah, you know, we, 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 we